Joe Paterno has been a fixture of American college football for more than 60 years, wearing his trademark thick-rimmed glasses pacing the sidelines. As head coach of Penn State University, he has won more games than any other major college football coach. Known for preaching success with honor, he made a point of teaching his players how to carry themselves both on and off the field. But it was the off-field behavior of a coach working for him, his one-time heir apparent, in fact, that brought a less-than-honorable sunset to his illustrious coaching career. In the wake of a child sex abuse scandal by one of his assistant coaches, and just hours after Paterno announced that he'll retire at the end of the season, the University Board of Trustees asked him to step down immediately. I would hope that everyone would agree that what we're doing is what we believe in our best judgment is in the best long-term interest of the university, which is much larger than athletic programs. Jerry Sandusky has been charged with sexually abusing eight boys over a span of 15 years, including one at the Penn State football complex. Paterno has not been accused of any legal wrongdoing, but a police commissioner accused him of a lapse in moral responsibility for failing to do more to stop Sandusky including an alleged incident when a staff member told the head coach he saw Sandusky molesting a 10-year-old boy. Known as Joe Pa, Paterno issued a statement announcing his departure. I am absolutely devastated by the developments in this case. I grieve for the children and their families, and I pray for their comfort and relief. I've come to work every day for the last 61 years with one clear goal in mind to serve the best interests of this university and the young men who have been entrusted to my care. I have the same goal today. This is a tragedy. This is one of the great sorrows of my life. With the benefit of hindsight, I wish I had done more. The coach reportedly talked to his players, told them of his departure, and broke down into tears. The face of Sandusky was painted over in a mural on the Penn State campus. College football in the United States is big business for the universities. The millions of dollars brought in from television game rights, ticket sales, merchandising, and sponsorships go to fund other programs within the university, both athletic and educational. Sandusky may have retired long ago from coaching at Penn State, but any scandal linked to the football program could also be felt in other places. But that is not on the minds of many students and fans of Joe Paternal showing up at his house Tuesday night, showing their support regardless of the scandal. This Saturday will be the last home game of the season, and there's little doubt that the 106,000-seat stadium will be full. But what will be missing? Coach Joe Pa pacing the sidelines. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera.